hi guys and welcome to another video on my channel you will notice that i have the same outfit on it's the previous video and that is because i'm catching up with all of my filming by filming on mass in one big go to get all of my book reviews that i really needed to do out of the way because i don't want you guys to to wait anymore because i've been gone for like two months i've been stressing out about life Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about, not about my life and my stresses, I wanted to talk to you about a book. And this is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. <laughs> Best intro ever. This book follows our main character, Andy, in the fallout after there is a political scandal. Her dad's basically running for congress or for senator or something like that i don't really get how american politics works please forgive me i'm sorry that's not really the main thing of this book basically um andy lives with her father and has kind of lived this life of being the child of somebody who's quite high up politically and all of the struggles and things that kind of go like with that what i found really interesting was how she talked about um she would go to parties and she would only drink out of like she would put like alcohol or whatever into like a coke bottle or a sprite bottle or something like that so that it wouldn't look like if there were any photos taken no one could say she was underage drinking at a party or something like that because that could happen and how like thought out and rehearsed and how frustrating her life must be kind of being in the spotlight like it is. Something that I really love about this book is the group of friends that Andy has. I just love them. I love how connected they are and how um, awesome they are to kind of like to read and to be around. A huge appreciation for a really good group of friends being shown in YA because you it's pretty rare in real life to have a group of friends that are that awesome um i know that when i was younger i've actually hung out with like recently with one of my friends who was in my group of friends when i was like a young person and we're all doing crazy different things than we would have expected now and only a few of us still really are connected and the rest of them were just like we're just like so done with each other and i think um we weren't really a great group of friends for each other like we thought we were at the time but these guys are actually a good group of friends so what happens is um basically because there is a political scandal andy was supposed to have an internship at a hospital doing this thing over the whole summer and it's all about the internship and she goes to go like that she's packing the night before and gets an email saying that there was a mix-up and she's basically been rejected from the program obviously this is connected with the scandal with her dad and all of that kind of stuff but there's nothing really that she can do about it and so she needs to make other plans for the summer a lot of her her other friends have summer jobs one of them works at a movie theater one of them works at a gallery um and she decides to she sees a job on like a pin board or something like that and decides to apply for it and it ends up being a dog walking job i just want to say that walking dogs every day is my dream the main reason i bought this book is because there are so many dogs on the cover this little fella on the back is everything like everything to me i just want to oh mm. So she gets connected in whilst walking with this dog, um, while walking dogs with this guy and a bit of a romance starts to bloom between them. It's just, it's just really, really nice. I've heard a lot of other people like Morgan Matson's other books a lot more than this one, so I would like to read more of her, but a few things I really did enjoy there were a few things I really did enjoy about this book. I really liked the main guy who was in the story. And um, and like I said and I talked about, I loved her group of friends. They were so awesome. I loved how she um, kind of threw the rejection of the internship and doing the dog walking job. How through those things, she kind of really found herself and 
it started to heal things in her that she didn't know were still broken. So her mother had passed away and there was all this drama around that and her and her dad didn't really have an actual relationship anymore. And through her actually staying in their house and doing the dog walking and all of that stuff, you really get to see the relationship between her and her dad start to really heal. And it's kind of really, really cool. My favourite moment ever in this book is right near the end and it's where... Andy and all of her friends are doing their scavenger hunt, which is like a yearly thing that they do and they all gather around this statue that's in their neighbourhood and they have to gather like all these things and they only have a certain amount of time to do it. And you get to see her and her friends battling out and trying to figure out like where, you know, to get all these things for the scavenger hunt and it's just like the most fun part of the book and I felt like a lot of things in this book were just really fun and easy to read and summery and beautiful and it just reminded me of like of summer romance and being a young person and first love and all of those beautiful things that are just so fun to read in YA. I gave this a three out of five star rating and it's not because I didn't enjoy it. Um, I found that for some reason this book was ridiculously long. Like I think it's over 500 pages long and yeah it's like it's nearly 520 pages long and for it to be that long it almost seemed a little bit unnecessary <laughs> in some ways because it kind of dragged out in some parts and things like that but I mean if you have ever read a YA book and felt like it was too small this is the book for you because it so isn't it reminds me a lot of, um, I read a whole lot one summer of Sarah Dessen's books and they are a bit longer like this one and they're definitely YA and they're definitely Young Love and things like that and um, they're about, yeah, they're about the same size and I think it's like a good kind of size for YA but in some ways uh, it felt like it was a little bit long and it took me a long time to read it because, um, I felt like there was some unnecessary faffery in amongst it just to kind of stretch it out and make it longer um and yeah I don't know maybe it's just that I've been reading more fantasy recently and I haven't really this has been the first like contemporary YA that I've reached for in a little while and maybe I'm just out of touch with what it feels like to read these because I've been reading all the Harry Potters and City of Bones and all of those things and I don't know but um but I mean, it was it was good. I really did enjoy it. Um, I felt like it clung a little bit to a lot of YA contemporary tropes and it was a little bit predictable in some places. Um, it was a little bit like simple in the terms of the story. Um, but like I said, I loved the relationships, I loved the friends and I loved seeing a progression of a character over a like three month period and seeing first love and all of those beautiful growth things that happen when you're a young adult so I did enjoy it just felt like maybe I read it at the wrong time of year maybe because I didn't read it in the summer I read it in the winter I don't know I <laughs> I don't know I don't know I just felt like I've read books that are a lot more exciting to read even why I contemporary so I mean the kind of people I would recommend this book to frankly are people like my sister um, who loves YA Contemporary, like quite interestingly because I rated, um, because she read Me Before You before I did, <laughs> try to figure that out, she read Me Before You before I did, she was like this might be the best book I've ever read, five star, I gave Me Before You a much lower rating um, and kind of found myself a little bit bored and a little bit predictable and all of that kind of stuff. So I would definitely recommend it for people who love YA Contemporary, who want to read something that's big and decent and and is pretty good. But I did enjoy reading it. Um, I would love to know your guys' thoughts. Please comment them down below. And if you want to follow any of my stuff, it's all in the down bar. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.